This video is a collaboration with Opera Visha. Opera Visha. It is a very cool platform on which you can watch full length operas for free. You can go either on their website or on their YouTube channel and check their catalog. It is full of gems, including the opera that I'm going to be talking about today, The Gambler by Mr. Sergei Prokofiev. It is an opera that is set on an original story by Dostoevsky. And if you've read a bit of Dostoevsky, you know that the atmosphere is always a bit creepy, creepy, Russian-y, creepy. <laughs> The story is set in the 1860s in a European spa resort. Obviously not in this staging. The main character is this guy, Alexei. He's the 25 year old independent university graduated babysitter. He's the private teacher of the general's ward. This guy is the general. Polina is his ward and Alexei is in love with her. The teacher is having a little crush on his student. Polina owes a lot of money to the Marquis. The Marquis is loaded and he lended a lot of money to the general a year before. Blanche is the general's girlfriend and she's twice younger than him. And for now, that's all the people you need to know. starts and Alexei reveals to Polina that her plan to pay her money back to the Marquis is dead. She gave him some jewelry to pawn so that he could gamble it, win more and then give the entire sum to the Marquis, but he gambled and he lost all of it. She leaves, then enters these people. Alex's boss receives a note that says that his aunt is very sick. He's actually quite excited for his aunt to die because she is very rich. He's excited to get his inheritance in order to be able to marry the little Blanche. The general says, Alexei, what's wrong? And Alexei kind of lies, saying that he gambled his savings and that he lost all of it. The grandpa is like, Maybe it is not wise to gamble your own savings. You should have a security net, uh, la, 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 la. And Alexei goes into an entire spiel saying that saving money is ridiculous. It's against his own nature and existence and la, 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 la. Big tenor Arya. <laughs> This man is also in the room. He's an English fella who's just around. And when he hears Alexei's speech, he's like, hmm, you're an interesting man. Let's have tea sometimes. Everyone leaves and Polina enters. She is mad because he lost all of her money and Alexei is trying to get the story out of her of why she owes so much money to the Marquis. She does not budge and Alexei pretends that in order for him to win, he needs to know exactly why he needs to win. Then he tells her that he loves her and that he's willing to do anything for her and Polina does not really buy it. She's like, I don't know, you look like you like money more than me. So she challenges Alexei to prove his love by flirting with a baroness. He goes and flirt. Obviously her husband does not really appreciate it. And Alex's way of getting out of all of this is to act crazy. He makes a scene. <laughs> general is not very happy about Alexei. So he goes to him and he's like, look, first of all, you lose all of your savings at gambling. And second, you embarrass me in front of the Baron and the Baroness. You are not a very good example for my sweet little Polina. Therefore, you are fired. Alexei is very mad. 
And he goes to have some tea with the English fella, who reveals him that the same morning that he did his uh, craziness, Blanche was trying to get the Baron to lend them some money in order for the two of them to marry. When Alexei hears about this loan situation and the sick aunt and the inheritance, he starts to be scared that when Paulina is gonna get her inheritance, the Marquis is gonna make a move on her. The general sends the Marquis to go and talk to Alexei in order to calm him down a bit. And the Marquis actually gives Alexei a letter that comes from Polina, who literally tells him to stop acting like a schoolboy. Alexei becomes paranoid that the Marquis actually forced Polina to write the letter. He goes completely mad and he does the exact opposite of what Polina asked him, which was to cool it down. <laughs> then the coolest character of this entire show arrives. The sick aunt. She actually walks in the moment that the general is predicting to the Marquis and Blanche that the aunt is gonna die tonight. Kabam! She's like, you all, I see right through ya. I feel super healthy, so I'm coming here to enjoy myself and I'm gonna go gamble at the casino. Bye bye <laughs> best role. So act three starts and the aunt who's been gambling has been losing a lot of money and the general is watching all of his inheritance slowly disappear under his eye and therefore his chance to marry Blanche who actually jumps on the opportunity and leaves the casino at the arm of a prince. She disappears. Alexei sees that and he wonders what's gonna happen to his love's family now that the aunt is completely poor. <laughs> Alexei goes back to his room and he finds Polina who's waiting for him. And she finally explains to him that she and the Marquis have a relationship. And that she just received a breakup letter from him that very diplomatically urges her to pay the money she owes him right now. <laughs> excessively mad and disappointed to discover that her relationship with this man was actually nothing more than a money transaction and that now that she's officially poor he breaks up with her. She's like, I wish I had that money right now to just throw it in his face. Our dear Alexei sees that as an opportunity to prove his love to her and he goes to the casino with this time a clear motivation to win. Therefore, he wins. He wins and he does not stop winning. He's just gambling more and more and suddenly he's loaded. So he goes back to Polina and he offers her the money. He gives her the money and her first reaction is to throw herself at him and say, well, I have to give you my body in return. Her relationship with the Marquis must have been ooh, not very healthy. He refuses and that's when she realizes that he really loves her and they embrace. They're in love and they lived happily ever after. And this is so not the end. You thought that Russian opera would actually end in wealth and love? <laughs> after they had after they embraced, Polina instantly regrets her decision and when Alexei gives her the money, she takes it <laughs> and leaves. Alexei is left alone with his money and he goes crazy. He's having a maniac kind of reaction. <laughs> How it ends. Crazy laughters, creepy ending music, terrible story, weird atmosphere. 
So if you like this story and you were teased by the few excerpts, you can go watch the entire show. The link is in the description box below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.